Hi, I'm Patrick. And I'm Liv. And this is the mach -E Vlog. Today, we're going to go over all the exciting new details about the 2024 Mustang Mach-E lineup. So let's go. At this exact moment, we are well into 2024. It is April 9th to be exact, but today, just a couple hours ago, Ford announced the lineup, the updates, super exciting stuff, and we're gonna cover all of it today. Some of the things are minor, some of the things are big, but we're gonna just dive into it. We're gonna actually just sort of walk through the website and uh, go over all the details and changes and look at some of the different models and the configuration. So strap in, let's go. <laughs> all right, so uh, here's the, the new website uh, for the 2024 Mustang Mach-E. Uh, we're just gonna go through step-by-step step and uh, cover all of the details that they announced. Um, one cool thing is, starting at under 40,000. So 39,995 is the starting price of the Mach-E Select rear wheel drive, which is standard range. Does not get any federal tax credit, which of course is disappointing. Um, not sure if they're gonna do incentives. They're doing a lot of incentives on the 2023 Mach-E's that are still around, um, including low interest rates, uh, some other incentives as far as uh, leasing. So if you're interested in the 2023, now's the time to act. If you're interested in 2024, we'll see what uh, deals that there are available. Uh, as always, follow us on social media, whether it's Twitter or X or Threads or Facebook. We'll post like any of those like good deals that we see and let you guys know. Uh, the other thing is, is uh, the top line now uh, for range for the Mach-E is up to 320 miles. That's on a premium uh, long range or extended range rear wheel drive. So that's about 20 miles improvement for compared to the 2023s. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, let's see what else we're gonna- The Mustang Mach-E incidentally, the GT gets 10 more miles of range. So that's gonna be at 280. Uh, the Mustang Mach-E select standard range battery rear wheel drive um, will be at 250 miles of range. So that also gets a 20 mile bonus. So um, mostly 20 mile bonuses. The rally, of course, it's his first year. So it's 265 um, just out the gate. Which is actually really good. When they first announced the rally, they were talking about uh, 250 miles of range. And now they're saying it's actually gonna be 265. The Mustang Mach-E GT being at, at 280 is really pretty cool. We have the GT Performance Edition which uh, is rated at 260 miles. So I wouldn't mind having that, that 20 miles extra range. And now I'm actually on the same page that Liv yeah. is on. <laughs> so this Sorry, makes... since you're referencing range, it, uh, 320 sounds, sounds pretty darn cool, but it, it's helpful to see it in comparison. Yeah, so it's, uh, there, there's varying levels of uh, Mach-E models that you can get. So there's basically a, an all-wheel drive or rear wheel drive and then there's also options to do standard range or, ex or extended range and, or long range however you want to say it uh, as well as the fact that there's different performance levels so the Mach-E GT has uh, different motors than like the select or the premium so that's why there's like all these different range uh, estimates for the Mustang Mach-E if you're wondering in addition with EVs if you're not familiar even changing the tire combos and the wheel combos can, can affect the range. So if you're wondering why there's so many different ranges available with the Mustang Mach-E, that's why. Um, some of the other improvements that we're really excited about is they're basically boasting about, about a 20% improvement in uh, charging speeds for 2024. Uh, everybody wants to focus on charging speeds. We have our 2022 Mustang Mach-E, we, we've always been like charging is adequate. Um, of course, you do want faster charging, but uh, I think it's still competitive. A lot of people want to disagree on that, but 20% faster makes it even, even slightly better. better. And we've had a 2021 Mach-E, if you're interested, check out all our road trip videos, both with our first edition 2021 and then our 2022 Mach-E, so you can see real world what that was like, uh, very realistic road trip stuff, so. Um, and one of the best examples, we took a our Mach-E to Las Vegas earlier this year. Late last year, we took a, a Model Y, and we did the exact same route to Las Vegas, 
And what it ended up meaning is we had one stop for charging on the way up and we basically got lunch and the car was ready, whether it was the Model Y or the Mach-E. Uh, when we left with the Model Y, it had a little bit more charge uh, because it charged a little bit faster. But uh, overall, really the, the impact on doing like a, a 300 mile trip is not gonna be that big of a difference. But now the Mach-E is, is even more on par with the Model Y. So it's saying like it can do, um, the standard range battery can do 10 to 80% in 32 minutes, which is about six minutes faster than the Mustang Mach-E at launch. Um, the extended range will do zero to, 10 to 80, sorry, 10 to 80 in 36.2 minutes. Uh, and that's about eight minutes, nine minutes faster than, than previous models. And comparing again back to the Model Y, uh, especially with the 4680 cells, which is the, the newest, latest, greatest uh, cells from Tesla, that's basically on par. I believe I've seen some 32 to 36 minutes. Uh, so it's right in that same time uh, frame for charging. So it's it's not like it's way behind Tesla. Now, where it is behind is compared to like the Ionic 5s and the EV6s of the world. Um, but there's also, if you want to take into consideration with those cars, you need to have a 350 kilowatt charger to get that, which, uh, you know, if you're using EA on road trips, some places only have like one 350 kilowatt charger. Some stalls have four, but then if you go back, you know, we're comparing again, you know, to the, the Mach-E, the Mach-E as of today has access to the Tesla supercharger network. So you have more charging options. Um, and those are all uh, the ones that we have access to in the Mach-E are at least, uh, are at 250 kilowatts. So it, the charging <laughs> network, uh, all charging networks are not currently sort of equal uh, and all of our vehicles are sort of being limited by that as well. So yeah, we didn't get an 800 volt charging system upgrade in the new 2024 Mach-E, Mustang Mach-E, uh, but we've definitely gotten a good speed upgrade and I'm pretty psyched about it and really interested to do some real world testing uh, the way that we drive. I don't know, my screen went blank, hold on. Pause. There we go. Very. I gotta remember. I got a very short timeout on my monitor. Um, yeah. So so it is really interesting. Uh, a lot of people want to focus on on charging speeds, uh, and, and especially people that don't know EVs. Uh, but the reality is, is ninety five percent of our charging is done at home. We've been doing a lot of charging out lately because we have the new uh, Ford. NAX adapter that allows us to have access to the Tesla supercharger network. So we've literally been charging only just to charge to test things out. But um, our last real charging was coming back from Vegas in January. So Which that's, would have been the same on CCS or NAX. Yeah. Um, pretty much based on, on the charging stops. But <laughs> for a little edification, if you guys have watched any of our road trip stuff, you probably know uh, I determine charging stops by we need to stop uh, the amount of miles must correlate with when we need to go to the bathroom and the length of time must correlate with how long it takes us to go to the bathroom and get snacks and everything. So it's already been um, about 200 miles is when we need to stop. So a vehicle that has at least 200 miles of range, um, you know, with 80% charge uh, and about 38 minutes is what it sort of seems yeah. like. 38 to 40 minutes is what I personally need to like go into, and granted if we're at Walmart, then it takes you a little while to walk to the bathroom wherever it is. So go in somewhere, go to the restroom, all that. So it'll be really interesting to see if these updated charging times, if we get to test out one of these vehicles in a realistic way, if it actually makes a difference or if like we're the impediment on both like how often we stop and how long we stop. So two things related to that. Um, the other thing about it is, is like if you get a little bit more range as it looks like the, the 2024 Mach-E has um, and you get a little bit faster charging, that 20% increase in charging also gets you uh, slightly more range. So if you get in like maybe 5% extra range and 20% faster charging speeds, that's a, a pretty decent boost. Um, but again, we're still in early days with the charging network. So like from here to Vegas, we're, we're pretty much either stopping in Barstow or Baker. Um, 
it's not like an extra 10 miles of range means I can go 10 miles further because there's not a charging station there. So it's, you know, we're still limited by, by infrastructure, but um, that's enough about that. We, we got a lot of other stuff we want to go into. Indeed. Was there anything on the first page? I know I rushed you from the first page. From the performance. I, I need to get back up to the performance because there's some exciting stuff with the performance. There's super exciting stuff. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get back up to the performance. I, that's the thing that a lot of people are going to be excited about. Um, you know, the, the, the Mach-E is just a crossover. You're, you know, it's an SUV. You can throw stuff in the, the back. It's, a, you know, good for, like, your small family or whatever. But it is a Mustang. That's what my shirt says. It's a Mustang. Okay. So uh, people are very interested in the performance aspect, and we need to spend some time talking about that. So uh, first of all, it's you know right now our 2022 Mustang Mach-E GT Performance Edition, and for the 2023s, uh, zero to sixty in three and a half seconds. With the new 2024 Mustang Mach-E GT, uh, the fastest time it'll do is zero to sixty in three point three seconds. Um, which is, it says, faster than Tesla Model Y. Model Y is still at three and a half seconds and the Porsche Macan 4 electric. Um, it also uh, does quarter mile in 11.8 seconds at 114 miles per hour. So that's significantly faster. And, you know, Ford hasn't really said anything. If you don't know, currently, like our car has sort of like at, a, at the five second mark it will significantly reduce power uh and and it'll still accelerate but it's just not accelerating as fast um just based on the, the quarter mile times it looks like that's been increased we don't know how much we know that the power has been increased to um allow it to do a faster quarter mile so some people are already speculating like maybe it's like eight seconds nine seconds still pretty um pretty decent amount of power going out of the car and that you can do the quarter mile which th those times are about on par maybe slightly faster than or slightly quicker than the model y but i think the model y is coming in at the quarter mile slightly faster so um, th there's going to be some interesting drag races, I'm sure. We'll leave that to other people. We don't generally do that type of thing. Mm -hmm. And of course, only on a track. Um, it, the, the, and the way that they're getting this new power is they have new in-house motors um, that they are putting in the Mach-E. So uh, if you don't know the previous Mach-E, the, the motors were designed by Borg Warner and uh, Ford just put those in the Mach-E does say electric ponies live here. So that is designed specifically. And we have a t-shirt of that, yeah. like the, the hidden Easter egg. <laughs> um, but it gives you an additional 100 pound feet of torque compared to uh, the regular 2023 Mustang Mach-E GT. So um, that's where, you know how they're getting the extra performance out of it. So that's pretty cool to see that they are boosting charging speeds as well as performance for the, the, the Mustang Mach-E. Yeah, and we've mentioned this previously. This has been known, uh, this is one of the things that we knew about the 2024 lineup was that there was not gonna be a GT Performance Edition anymore, which is the vehicle we have. We have the 2022 GT Performance Edition, which combines all the power plus Magnaride. And Ford saw that everyone wanted Magnaride as well, and Magnaride is really lovely. So that's all squished together now, and there is just one GT line now. Yeah, so the so your your Magnaride is being included. Um, they've changed some other things as well. So like the uh, performance boost that went from like GT to GT Performance Edition. That's now something like you could just add that, and it's uh, be, like between seven fifty and a thousand dollars, depending on what other options you're picking. So that's the way they're they're handling that. And I believe like, we got to double check some of this stuff, but I think it comes with a glass roof now. Hmm. Uh, I mean, a steel roof oh, now. Okay. It used to always come with just a glass roof if you were doing Blue Cruise. Um, but now I think they give you some some options. So and a lot can... of people wanted the steel roof because looking at a performance car, it doesn't necessarily make sense when you, um, if you don't know, but you're like a glass roof. Uh, I, I think that'd be nice and cool to have and weighs less, but it actually weighs more to have a glass roof. Hmm. So. So if you're looking for more of a performance package, now you have a little more flexibility. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um, so that's performance, that's uh, charging speed. Let's skip down to some of the, the 
uh, appearance stuff because there are some changes as well. I'm going to scroll on down here. Um, we'll get back to, oh, before we go on the charging, uh, I mean, appearance, <laughs> we should talk some more about the charging because from the day the, the Maki was introduced to now 2024, one of the biggest changes is this. This is the uh, Ford slash Tesla NAX adapter. It's actually designed and built by Tesla. Ford sending these out for free. Um, but what this does is it gives us access to the Tesla supercharger network. So that's like a huge change compared to previous models. Like we, um, every current Mach-E will have access, but by default, you know, now it's like, this is something that's big that Ford can advertise for 2024 Mustang Mach-E's. Uh, you have access to the CCS network as well as a large portion of the Tesla supercharger network. It's not all of them. It's basically version three and version fours, not quite all version threes right now. Um, not sure if it will ever be all version threes, but in the end, it's over 15,000 more uh, charging options for us. Um, so that's actually fantastic news. And if you are considering like the Mustang Mach-E for a road trip, this just means it's, it's a lot easier. Right now, Ford and Rivian are the only two non-Tesla manufacturers that have access to the supercharger network. That is going to be expanding. Pretty much every manufacturer has already announced that they will be uh, getting access to the supercharger network. We just don't know when. It may be in a month. It may be several months. Um, I know like uh, Hyundai and Kia, theirs is coming in 2025. So it's it's many more months away. And we did get a pre-production version of that NAX adapted to test out. But officially, like just a couple of days ago, uh, people have started receiving their Ford Tesla NAX adapters. So that is super cool. So if you haven't reserved yours, um, go do so. Also, if you were curious or if there's any confusion about it, the 2024 Mustang Mach-E line does not have NAX baked in. It is still CCS. It's still in the same charge port location, everything like that. So if there was any question about that, not. <laughs> um, on this page, you, you may have looked as we were talking, um, EV routing functionality is available via CarPlay and Apple Maps. It's coming soon via Google Maps and Android Auto. Um, so there's, you know, they've, they've made other changes as well. So it's uh, really cool to see them continuing to update. And, and we do have a video testing the uh, Google Maps EV routing. Yeah, yeah. Just look at our channel. We have all the, all the details that you need for all of this stuff. And here is just basically the blue dots were what we previously had access to. And then the red dots are adding in the supercharger network. So you can see it really does help our charging options. Man, look at the East Coast. We gotta go investigate. We're gonna there. try. <laughs> Fully covered. <laughs> so now we get to go, um, and there are some some other cool stuff. So the, first of all, a uh, couple of the new colors. The, the the most exciting one is eruption green, as you can see here. Here's a little snippet. We have a whole video on the eruption green. Uh, Maki with the bronze package. Exactly it, like that. <laughs> it looks so good. It looks really, really good. And it, we actually are rocking bronze wheels as well. We have the Martian wheels. What's the whole mouthful of the name? We'll put the details M down. MW05. MW05s. So they actually kind of look similar, like very similar color to the what is called Sinister Bronze. This is a Sinister Bronze package that you can get uh, added on to um, Shadow Black, Star White Metallic, and Eruption Green. So Eruption Green is new for 2024, and also uh, Glacier Gray Metallic is new. Uh, we also have a video, uh, I don't think we actually just Oh no, we might have shown it on the rally, but the we rally. have the Glacier Gray in multiple videos, so check it out. But now we have to say farewell to some other grays to make space for that. So what is not a gray is technically a white, but space white, uh, space, space white. Space yeah, white. I'm already forgetting. Space white is going to be no more. That has been a long running color. One of my it's, favorites. Yeah, it's so interesting. So now you, space white owners, you now have a limited edition Maki color. If you were interested in space white, go grab one now. Um, that is making the way for the new glacier gray metallic, but also carbonized gray is is getting out the way to make way for the sort of like mid tone gray. It's sort of like a it says metallic, but it looks kind of matte to me. It's really nice, and it is in our first uh, Mustang Maki -E rally video that we did yeah. at the Detroit Auto Show last year. So if you want to see what it looks like on video um, and in real life, 
check that out. Um, I, I like it. It's sort of basically just a slightly darker space white. It's suddenly darker space white. Yeah. And I, mm, Okay, the Maki line, they trade out the colors quite often. Um, so if you are wishing for something or dreaming for something, or if you really like something, make sure to snag it. Uh, carbonized gray, I think actually took a little vacation at one point and then was replaced by dark matter gray. Yeah. So they, they trade things out a lot. And so if you're sad, maybe we'll see space white again. And cyber orange is of course gone as well, um, yeah. which has been gone for a little bit, but it, I, that's one of the, the best colors on the Maki, in Crimsicle. my opinion. It's and delicious. there is one other color that we'll get to that's being added when we come down here to the... Rally! The Mustang Bradley Maki Yellow. Rally. <laughs> um, so we have a whole video on the Mustang Maki Rally. Uh, it is a very cool package. It is basically rally inspired. It's not going to be true um, like off-road rally, but you can do some like off-road fun with this. It's raised up slightly, has a little bit of additional underbody protection. On the sides of the car, they basically added some uh, PPF to uh, in some, some vulnerable spots, we'll say. They added the uh, fog lamps on the front, the new rally-inspired wheels, um, and there's a new, let's see if it has it on here, the spoiler. It doesn't have the spoiler. We'll just uh, oh, yeah, go to a... rally. So you can see the spoiler here on the back. So it has an additional spoiler that goes up a little bit higher in the back. Um, Obviously, we've seen people add those on before. Um, like it's it's a relatively simple add on, I think, but it's really cool seeing it baked in. Like it looks really gorgeous in a variety of colors. And I have to say, like I love Grabber Yellow. It's one of my favorite colors. But the rally looks really good in Eruption Green because it's sort of like a racing green. So I totally went and spec'd out my own rally. Just oh, did you? Can you yeah. do it in Eruption Green? Yeah. Oh, okay. It looks really good. Very it looks cool. like a race, like a race car. I looked at it in Grabber Blue just because. Of course you did. <laughs> um, but you can see here they were originally talking about 250 miles of range. That's now been confirmed at 265. 20 uh, millimeters raised uh, suspension. So that's just under an inch raised. Um, and they're going to have a, a rally mode, which uh, I'm assuming that's just adjusting some of the traction con control so that it handles better doing that type of driving on some dirt roads. Um, I, I see that's like dirt roads, not not really off road, but dirt road. Although, driving. if you're curious, we took our first edition of like real off roading, and we have a video on that. If you look at Monkey Vlog Camping, it was yeah, it was interesting. Search, search our channel, but there are other people who obviously push stuff much harder. So if you wanted to push your Maki much harder, this would be the term. So uh, let's see. So we talked about the, the rally. I'm excited to try the rally. I'm really, um, I think they said this is uh, going to do zero to 60. I think it's slightly less, like maybe three and a half seconds. Um, might st uh, And I think that's just basically the, the traction on this is not going to be quite as high. Um, it may be down to that 3.3 as well, but this is going to be very qu quick. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it's basically uh, a Mach-E GT that's been lifted. Um, just a little, just a little. Just, lifted. Yeah, yeah, less than an inch lifted, but a lot more protection built in. Um, by the way, the, the stripes that you see on it, you can option those off so that if you don't want to have the stripes, you can get rid of those. I, I actually really like the stripes and they look like they're just like a carbonized gray um, stripe. But if you actually get up close and if you go to our rally video, you can see there's actually some some detail built into that. Um, and some of those details are built inside as well. And the the white wheels are sort of uh, accented by the interior, like the back of the seats are white and there's some uh, white accents on the steering wheel. So some really cool uh, touches to sort of finish off that package and make it all like tie together. And it looks really sharp in person. Um, check out our video for, for details on that. Yeah, I do kind of wish that you could switch out the wheels. Um, but if we're going to go to our next section, we could slip on over to Blue Cruise. Oh, okay. um, so the 2024 model, you know, we love Blue Cruise. We're still rocking Blue Cruise 1.0, right? 1.0, and yeah. we're still waiting for the upgrade. We're still waiting for the upgrade. Overdue. Um, basically, they were um, starting to get ready for the next release of uh, Blue Cruise on 2021s to 2022s. Um, and actually 2023s, but um, ran into some issues. So they've they've paused the rollout, which is um, good that they're being proactive and, and making sure everything's safe. safe. 
Um, but I really want to get it because yeah. we've tested out 1.2. We have videos on that. And 1.3, we have a video on that. Um, and the 2024s are coming with 1.3. And it was really, really great. The upgrades are phenomenal. Uh, but Blue Cruise 1.0 is still excellent. It's still um, honestly top of the market from what we've tried. Um, it, it's truly great. So if you get one of the 2024s, you get Blue Cruise 1.3 out of the gate. And the, so the new features, um, in addition to basically hands-free driving on um, the Blue Zone roads, which is basically most of your freeways in the U.S. Uh, of course, it's hands-on on any road with, uh, with stripes, which is a lot of people don't understand is like it's basically just like autopilot or whatever uh, other ADAS system with your hands on on pretty much any road. It's hands free on the blue zone roads, which are basically freeways. Um, so the 1.2 adds, uh, it will do assisted lane changes. Basically you turn your blinker on and it'll do the lane change for you after it makes sure, sure the, the lane is clear. Um, it also will like, if you're passing a big truck, it'll like scooch over and give it a little bit more room on that side. So it makes it a little bit more comfortable if you are driving or a passenger. And like, it shows it in the graphic on the instrument clusters. So you can tell it's scooching, which is extra comforting. <laughs> and then uh, the final thing is, is like if you are approaching a curve, it will slow down for the curve um, and it will let you know that it's like it sees a curve coming and it'll slow down slightly. It's not like it's going to slam on the brakes for you or anything like that. And it can't do like a, a 90 degree turn. Uh, but if it sees like a, a curve, um, it will slow down. And we have a video testing that out on our, I think it's in our 1.2 video where we show how it will slow down. Um, we were on like a two lane country road and it was slowing down from like uh, 45 down to like 38 or something like that and then speeding back up pretty pretty neat and slick um, and then the upgrade from 1.2 to 1.3 it's um, basically just uh, tweaking the software so there's less disengagements um, and by disengagements it doesn't mean it's like canceling it just means it's telling you to put your hands back on the steering wheel so there's less disengagements um, where it's like you need to um, go back to hands-on so it's a little bit um, able to be used more and just doing better and better overall handling like various situations uh, while you're driving. And, and there are still some times, of course, as with any ADAS system, if it gets to something where um, like construction zone or something like that, that really throws it off or too much rain or something like that, it's going to uh, give you back control. So it is a supervised system. You do need to maintain um, your, your control of the car and be aware of what's going on. Yeah, and if you have any curiosity about Blue Cruise, like number one, please feel free to ask us questions in the comments, but also go check out our videos. We've had people who are confused about like how it works with disengagement since it is a hands-free system. Like, is it just gonna stop? Um, but no, it provides warnings and Patrick is so good with the warnings that I oftentimes don't even notice that it's disengaged and he's just put his hand back on the wheel. It's very comfortable. It's very reassuring. It's very well balanced, well tested. There's nothing jarring or scary about it. And, uh, I, I'm prone to being scared by those things. It's like, oh, this is a weird thing. <laughs> it's it's actually, we just had a comment on a video um, this past weekend. It was our, our last road trip video. And they said, oh my God, what happens when you exit one of the, the blue zones that are hands-free? Like, that sounds so dangerous. I was like, oh, I'll tell you what happens. Um, there's a little thing that pops up that says, place your hands on the steering wheel. Um, and you if you choose to ignore that in about five seconds, it starts playing an alert sound. But basically it's just very uh, nice, smooth transition. It says like, hey, put your hands on the steering wheel. You just touch the steering wheel, basically give it a little bit of torque and it continues to steer, but it just, your, your hand is now on the steering wheel. It's it's not traumatic, it's not dangerous no, or anything like that. it's very chill and like you said, uh, did you say collaborative, was that the word? I've always said it's a collaborative system. Yeah, because it, it very much is that and you're supposed to be paying attention. So when it says, hey, I need your help a little bit here, you're paying attention and you just put your hand on. Um, but if you're interested in that, check out our other videos, we have many and, and share your questions below. But we should check out the pricing. We're going to do some build and buy and just look at some of this stuff. So um, let's start with like a, a you know, a cheap -er version of the Mach-E that starts at $39,995. Um, 
where's the build order now? Here we go. So here we go, select, and we'll just go with a select rear wheel drive standard range, 39,995. We're gonna choose our options. It's exciting, it's like window shopping. <laughs> Uh, so we can see like exterior colors. Here's like all of our colors. It's really hard to tell. Like anytime you do any of these online builders, it's like, what color is that even? I'm like, oh, that's eruption green. And it doesn't look as good in a computer rendered version as it does in person. Nope. Um, there, so there's eruption green. There's oh, vapor a, blue metallic is still around. That's a great one. Vapor blue. I think a lot of people, that's their, one of their new favorite colors. And then there's glacier gray. And like, if you look at the little square, it looks really gray. Yeah. But the 3D rendering um, looks way more realistic. Yeah, very much so. Um, you'll also notice that the wheels on the select are now the old premium wheels. So that's a, a change that's coming as well. Um, we got a couple of uh, different packages that you can choose, um, as well as the Blue, Blue Cruise um, 90 day trial or three year plan. The three year plan is now $2,100, which is a significant price increase. We'll leave that discussion to another video. Um, you can also change some to some different wheels. Um, let's see, that's the standard and there are some darker ones. That's the, oh, basically it's the, the premium wheels, but they're painted high gloss black. Ooh, that looks nice. And uh, let's see, that's basically it. Um, let's go back up. I just want to take a quick look. What is in the comfort package? And does it say? No, let's see. We'll click info. So that includes a uh, heated driver and front passenger seats, a uh, heated steering wheel, and a memory driver seat. So it's a it's a nice package. Yeah, it's not yeah. it's not too uh, too many different details. Uh, interior protection package. That's just uh, floor mats, basically, um, and then the Blue Cruise option. So that's basically it for the regular um, Select Mach E. And uh, let's go back now. Let's build the GT because there's something we need to point out too. Do we want to do all of them or just to skip to the GT? Let's just go to the G. Well, I don't know. What do you guys want? Do you want to window shop with us? Could you yeah, right we're, now? <laughs> um, we, we won't go into all of them. I mean, we'll just go like, so the, the, the difference between the select and the premium is the premium has like an upgraded sound system. The, the heated seats and stuff come um, by default. Um, I do want to check out one thing. Let's see, what, what packages can you get with this? So you, it comes with the comfort package, which includes the power lift gate, um, heated driver uh, and front passenger seats, heated steering wheel and the memory seats. Um, and that's basically it. So that, like those are the big changes. And then exterior, you, like you can see the wheels are different here. So we did want to point that out. Those are new wheels for the premium now. And I really uh, like those. You can also get like a bronze wheel as well. So that looks so weird on white. Yeah, I like. Uh, it's trippy. Let's 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 change the the color real quick and then then see Eruption how it looks. Eruption green. Eruption green. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty nice. So yeah. Um, but I think actually like those those wheels could look really good with black and red. Red. I don't yeah. think you can get it with red. Oh, you looky can. Looky. Wow, okay. Super fun. You'll have to vote down below on your favorite colors. And color combos. I mean, that's basically what we have right now is grab a blue and then the bronze wheels. Um, so by the way, the batteries are the same as yes. the 2023. So we have a 91 kilowatt hour capacity in extended range and the 72 kilowatt hour capacity in the standard range. And that is what we have on our 2022 vehicle. Um, 2023 the as GT well. batteries, basically, of course, that won't be any change. Um, the, uh, the big change in mid 2023 is that they, um, changed the LFP batteries with all the standard range batteries. So, uh, range changed slightly, the battery capacity, uh, changed slightly. Um, it actually went up in range slightly. Um, but uh, the other key difference is with the standard range battery, uh, it's okay to charge that to 100% every day. And if nothing else, you should charge to 100% at least once a month. If you have an LFP battery, 
Um, so that was a change in habits for anybody that switched. They had to learn to, the, the new charging uh, mentality with that. And that might be a preference for you. So if you really want to eke out all of the range of your vehicle, or if you want to be able to charge every single day without any um, damage or degradation, then the standard range would be what you would pick. Well, and it, and it becomes an interesting uh, look because like for the regular Mach-E, um, battery or the extended range Mach-E battery, they say charge to 90%. So like if you're looking at um, like the rear wheel drive premium where you have uh, 320 miles of range, well, if you take away 32 miles of range, you're now down to like 290 miles. Um, but this one you can charge to 100% every day. So then that one's up to uh, 250 miles of range. The difference isn't quite as much. Now, of course, if you're going on a road trip, you can go all the way up. Um, but like on a day to day basis, like it gives you some some flexibility and options because 100 percent of 250 is um, closer to 90 uh, percent of 320. Yeah, it Does really just makes <laughs> it, it potentially complicated. But that is maybe why the standard range would be interesting to someone who doesn't want complications, because if you don't want to mess around with worrying about charge limits or anything like that, you should just plug in your car and you're like, have at it that that would be very simple. Yeah, yeah it, it can simplify things. And I hopefully that's just the type of thing that we're getting to more and more is like simplify things because it's very confusing. We've done it. We've we've been at a lot of uh, EV events and we have to explain to people is like, well, I don't charge to 100 percent every day. And here's why. And, and here's it, how. <laughs> yeah. So it, and they're like, oh, my gosh, that sounds complicated. I was like, no, you just set it up in the car, but it still sounds complicated. I think we should build a rally in Eruption Green. Um, we got to look at the GT. GT. Okay. I just want to show like the, the most expensive GT that you can get. And we're, we got to do, we always got to do Grabber Blue. <laughs> um, and we will do the performance upgrade. And if you didn't know, Grabber Blue is a Mustang only color. So that's sort of part of our love for Grabber Blue is that it's on our Mustang, Maki. And we'll get the, we'll stick with summer tires. And yeah. The, the different wheels those are different wheels as well so i'm like I, I haven't seen those in person but they look really good Super i like the current gt performance edition wheels um i don't know it's like I, I need to see these in person but but now that's basically let's see is there anything in the interior uh roof is glass if we want the glass roof and now we're up to basically i max it out i got the performance package uh Let's see, that's Blue Cruise. Can I add the $2,100 Blue Cruise? So really, like they don't have it. Uh, I did find out that they're still updating the, the website. So some things aren't completely available. Like I can't get the bronze package in, in here just yet. That'll be added over the next few days. Um, and I believe that's like a couple thousand dollars. So we're at like 60,000, could get it up to 62,000 if we added the bronze package. That is pretty awesome. Our mach -E was 72. 72. Woo! So it's better than ours. And it's $12,000 cheaper. Yeah. That is pretty amazing. Now, uh, something to point out quickly is that uh, the performance package is an upgrade, an add-on that you can put onto this GT. Now, you don't have to do that right now. You can do that later, too. So if you buy this now, you decide later on that you want to add the performance upgrade or treat yourself or save up for whatever, you can do that on this 2024 Mustang mach -E. We cannot do that on older versions because these ones are hardware enabled for this. Um, but after that, then it's a software upgrade. And we've been speculating that. We, we're pretty sure it's just a software. See, seems like it. Yeah. yeah. We asked um, some questions. Yeah, we asked some questions. We, we yeah. think that's where they're going with it, but um, not 100% confirmed. So uh, I would just go ahead and get it. Like it's just easier to, to get it. And I still can't believe you get that for $12,000 cheaper than what we got, which is like, oh, but we love our car. Well, we have a great time with it. 10,000 because we'd have to add in Blue Cruise. Oh yeah. So, but it's still, it's still like 10,000. 10, hey, that's yeah. the way it goes. But uh, so let's, are we doing Grabber? Eruption green. green. Just Eruption see green. what it looks like with the stripes. That looks pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, the rally is right there, 62,000. I think it includes pretty much everything. We'll just add the floor mats in. Because you're going to be muddy. You want to you get that covered. Yeah. Which is not a big upgrade. upgrade. And then we'll add the, the Blue Cruise. 64, <laughs> so 65,000 we'll say. Um, exterior, yeah, we're not going to change anything here. 
Um, I like that they let you select the wheels, but you have to. <laughs> and you can paint the roof black. I think Ooh. the rally is only in a steel roof. I would definitely paint the roof black. Do that, do that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Uh, and with the stripes. Um, so, and by the way, if you if you see something that's a little bit quirky on here, you can still contact a dealer. They can put in your uh, order for you, including like right now, you can't do the bronze package. But if you want to go order the bronze package, just check with your dealer. They can enter in the, um, the option for you and uh, go ahead and get that ordered. But so, yeah, so now we're looking at uh, just under 65,000 for the Mustang Mach-E uh, rally. So that is pretty freaking awesome. That is pretty awesome. 265 yeah. miles of range. For less than our car. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. We we have four adoptions and we have uh, how much longer? Uh, we still got a couple years. A couple yeah. years. So we're just, you know, eyeing it on the horizon. Uh, but you'll have to let us know what of the new 2024 lineup you're interested in. Uh, what is your dream setup? Maybe you're driving it already. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of options to configure. I, I think one of the things I really like, uh, oh, by the way, if you notice on this one, and I we should have pointed this out earlier, one of the other changes, stop clicking on things. <laughs> one of the other changes is the headlights. Um, they're slightly different, and that's to match the 2024 uh regular Mustang. And by the way, I do have to mention, so the regular Mustang Dark Horse, this is like way faster or way quicker, not way quicker, but it's a bit quicker than the, the current, any other Mustang. So again, like when people are like, it's not a Mustang and it's like, well, it's faster than a Mustang. It certainly <laughs> is. Yeah. So, uh, but anyways, what I was going to say is like, I really like that there's such a wide range of options now. Um, and it sort of has always been, but you can go from uh, select to premium. So that's sort of like a bit of a luxury upgrade. Um, but then you can also choose GT, which is a performance upgrade. But now for the first time, like we have like a, um, a EV, um, rally off road type option. So I think it's really cool that Ford is like providing these, these, uh, different options. And then going back to the other thing is, is like the, the color availability is really pretty cool to have, um, varying colors from, uh, the, your boring white slash grays to grabber blue and eruption green is really freaking fantastic. Yeah, it is super cool. I, it's funny because like uh, we post all over the place and, and someone commented on one of our Instagram reels that like the Maki colors are pretty boring. Um, and it's like, Maybe people don't know how many colors they have because I think it's a lot. I, it's a lot of variety. Um, but, you know, if you just see star white out on the road, um, I mean, even now it doesn't look like that much variety. But I guess it's more well, like that, that how is many the rally. colors they've had. That's the rally. True. But it, it is interesting because, like, I, I wish they would have kept uh, like cyber orange because um, yeah. then that would all of a sudden because like right now, if you look at it, it's uh, you have your red, your green. Uh, green and blue uh, and then everything else is like different versions of gray you know um i i like if they kept cyber orange in there that would be great or if we could get that uh grabber yellow grabber yellow i think is one of my favorite color i think it's my favorite i don't know i keep changing but i don't know i'm really missing cyber orange too i do want to point out by the way on the headlights which i feel like we can see better in, in the lighter color uh, so obviously the tri-bar taillights, um, I don't know about you guys, but when I see them animated, they go doot, doot, doot in my head. So now the, uh, the front lights do that too. The yeah. Indicator. It was more of uh, yeah. like a single doot, bar doot, doot. above the headlight and, and like look goes like that. But now it's like, doot, 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 like three yeah. segments. Um, I do want to check front before we go consistent, like what do the select, um, headlights look like because those have always been different Ooh. so now it looks like they're going to match i don't know if they're truly matching i don't know if i can see that info um i'm like there would it be different in the picture we each have it pulled up yeah i'm not sure oh i'm we, also on a select we have to get some of these these details um and find out like are there any slight differences in the 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 the, the headlights it looks like they're the same now um and you know, some of the other details have um, stayed the same. Like there's a slightly different wrap around the front area on the select versus the premium um, versus the GT. So 
By the way, the rally in Star White with the white rally wheels we'll do looks that. really good. We'll do that real quick. <laughs> Yeah, there's so many options and we're going to like wrap yeah. this up because we are um, just sort of rambling and having some fun picking so out. excited. I, it's like virtual car shopping. Um, but uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let us know. We can do a follow up video or uh, just answer them. Uh, make sure you uh, check us out on social media because we'll answer stuff there as well. We answer pretty much almost every comment question that we ever get. We answer it down in the comments as well. So uh, you know, if you have any questions, comments, recommendations, um, if you're looking at upgrading, if you're you know looking at a used Mustang Mach-E. Um, let us know all of that stuff. We're really interested in your, your path to, to Maki ownership. Ooh, your path to ownership. Um, yeah, and we're super excited about the 2024 lineup. We've obviously been waiting for this. All of us collectively have been waiting for this for a while. So let us know your thoughts on what um, Ford gave us. Like, are you happy? Did you want to see something different? What would you like to see in further models um, and, and future models? Uh, just because if we ever get an opportunity to share our opinions and your opinions, uh, then we want to know everything that you feel. And what are you most excited about? Like, uh, I... I think it's to for me it's like a combination of things. Like the rally is super cool, but I like the fact that the GT is now quicker. Um, I like that across the range we got uh, better charging, better um, yeah. better uh, uh, performance out of that new rear motor. So it's it's uh, going to be interesting. Better charging, better range. The better charging. Uh, the better charging. I'm really really excited about. And to be honest, I'm very much into the rally. Um, I just like something that's a little more rough because I'm not super kind to vehicles. <laughs> and, and for me, I'm sort of like, uh, I, I don't know, like, you know, going to Vegas, like, would we really care if it charged in 36 minutes or 32 minutes? No, but that's, we might not, but, but I know people, that it's yeah. important to you guys. Like, um, that's, that's a big thing that we hear is charging. Like sure. 20 miles extra range is great. Um, but you could always like get the California route one or something like oh, that. Like we gone. had, I know, but like previously, yeah. um, we had like a little option or like you can pick your trim, right. But we've never had control over anything to do with the charging speed. So the fact that that is an upgrade now, I'm glad they're doing I'm, it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really chuffed in that, chuffed about that. Um, we will be doing uh, some videos on what to look for in a used Mach-E and um, what we think of used Mach-E's and things like that, like to help you with that purchase because now we're getting used Mach-E's more and more on the market. That's exciting. It's an exciting place to be where we have uh, enough years with the Mach-E that we have some used ones because that there are a whole bunch of people who have been waiting for that, right? And for all of us who are excited about the brand new, um, we have some really, really cool upgrades. And... Well, I was just going to say, like, really, I think one of the biggest changes in cool things about the 2024 Mustang Mach-E is the fact that, you know, we now have access to the Tesla supercharger network. Um, even if you don't plan on uh, fast charging a lot like us, um, just the fact that like when we do, there's now um, almost double the options or more than double the options. Um, that's, that's always good. So it was like overnight, basically, we got access to a lot more uh, charging options, which is what we we need so that's pretty cool yeah and for our particular situation with having home charging it may not make the hugest difference to our daily life but there are many people who uh, are not in the situation to be able to have home charging or um, they may only have level one home charging so the opportunity to have um, 15,300 more fast chargers that they can choose from may mean they can actually get an EV so like that's also exciting too is is more more options for everyone so yeah um, I think I think we've already said leave your yeah. comments we'll uh, Go ahead and wrap this video up. Well, thank you guys for sticking around. Um, just a, you know, seems like minor changes, but I think there's some big changes coming to the 2024 Mustang Mach-E GT, Mustang <laughs> Mach-E lineup. Uh, and we're really excited. Uh, thank you to our Patreon members whose names are 
scrolling Probably down here. Uh, we appreciate all you guys. If you want to join us in this journey, you can join Patreon. Links to that down below. But you can also become a YouTube member as well. Um, it's two bucks a month for the YouTube membership, and you get some special emojis and stuff that you can drop in the comments. Oh yeah, on please every comment. Drop, drop your favorite emoji, and I, I'm not sure if we've said this in a video that's out yet, but like if you'd like to request a custom emoji, we can do that too. That would be really really fun. If you're curious, our patrons get things like. Um, private posts and uh, behind the scenes content and they get some videos early yeah. and then also our uh, obviously they get the shout out on the video but our unbridled patrons get the occasional trinket from the road so we've sent them out all sorts of and things. we're overdue we need to send some stuff out yeah we have some some stuff in the works okay so I think that's it you get to do yes. the, the tagline since I messed it up you know, maybe you should do it. No. Okay. On that note, thank you so much for joining us for this video in which we checked out the greatly anticipated and finally here 2024 Mustang mach -E lineup. So exciting. And just remember that whatever you drive, whether it is, why are you having coffee now? Whether it is a 2024 Mustang mach -E or, or not. Enjoy the ride and go get some coffee. Bye.